When I tell people about my lactose allergies, they always ask me, how do you live without, mi without milk? What do you eat then? So no pizza or ice cream? And sometimes I even ask myself these questions. I used to love eating pizza and cheese and every food that had milk in it. How did I cope with this sudden change in my body that started rejecting everything I love? I get really teased about my diet because all of my friends have a dependence on milk. It's usually worse when I go out with new people. When they hear me order and saying things like, I want this with no cheese, or ask, what do you use to season this? Or ask a last question like, you wrote down no cheese, right? They always say, wow, you're a very picky eater. I can say with 100% certainty that this allergy has taught me a lot of things and have actually changed my mindset on various topics. Before my allergy, I used to say that being vegan was pointless, unnecessary, and extreme. But now that I was forced to stop consuming milk, I actually have a ton of respect for vegans as a large part of the community, as a large part of the community decides to not consume milk. One point I would like to set on my talk is that it is possible to live without any lactose. There is such a variety of food that I can eat that does not contain it. Nachos with cheese, just switch it up with a cashew-based vegan cheese. Cereal, just use almond milk in it. There are also a lot of option, vegan options for food like vegan mozzarella cheese that's made out of peas and contains much less cholesterol. There is also vegan mayo that's also made out of peas and contains a significantly less amount of cholesterol. According to Healthline, we, as humans, shouldn't even be consuming milk as it comes from a cow's breast and was always meant to be consumed by a calf. Dairy is not good for babies as it does not contain the amino acids they need, according to the American Academy of Pediatrics. When one cow gets sick in a group, all of the cows are injected with antibiotics. This means that when we consume the milk or even the meat from that cow, those antibiotics enter our system and makes us more resistant to the antibiotics we take when we are sick, meaning that they are less effective. Three decades ago, America used to consume approximately 250 pounds of milk every year. That number dropped to 154 pounds in 2016. On the other hand, almond milk sales have been soaring with over $700 million of sales every year, up 40% in 2014 from 2013. This means that people are starting to realize that their milk dependency is not the best for, for their body. According to Healthline, Right now, if you gave up milk, you would decrease your chances of developing diabetes. The carbohydrate count on milk can impact your blood sugar, increasing the chances of developing diabetes. You could clear up your skin. The hormones that are present in milk can react to your body's own testosterone, which can lead to inflammation, and inflammation can lead to acne. Can lead to acne. And even, if, and even if you don't struggle with any of these problems, you could still benefit greatly from living milk, as 65% of the world population is lactose intolerant. It's lactose, has a form of lactose intolerant, which most of them don't even know about. Okay. Not only is milk unhealthy for our bodies, but it's also very damaging to the environment. It takes a lot of work to raise cows, for starters, you will need to grow the feed, which is mostly grain. Grain takes a lot of pesticides and, and fertilizers to grow. These are significant sources of global warming. When the cows eat the feed, they release methane through their digestive system, and their menu releases a lot of greenhouse gases, which are, which are, which are also harmful for the environment. So an another product of cow's waste w is nitrous oxide. Nitrous oxide is a climate warming pollutant 298 times more powerful than, powerful than carbon dioxide. A very easy way to not only improve your health but also help the environment is to completely stop consuming milk and opt for plant-based options like almond, oat, soy, and coconut milk. By stopping the consumption of, consumption of milk, you are even fighting against global warming. Milk is not only unhealthy for a normal person, but if you suffer from an allergy, it can be a very dangerous thing. Dairy allergies can vary from skin cracking, itching, and bursting. 
They can even close your respiratory tract, which can lead to death. I experienced the worst of them, which were the skin cracking and the respiratory problems. After I started getting sick from my undiagnosed allergy, my mother took me to get tested from them, and I got a very high percentage of allergy to milk. After I stopped consuming milk, my body started to get better. My respiration got more stable, and my skin, my much damaged skin, cleared up. My advice for all of you is to stop consuming milk. It's a very hard challenge if you are a cheese lover, like I once was, but the outcome of it is so much better. A very easy way to overcome the challenge is to think about all the good you are doing. You are even fighting against global warming, a problem that is destroying our planet and affecting all of us. And you have to remember that we, as humans, shouldn't even be consuming milk as it comes from a cow's breast and was always meant to be consumed by a cow. Thank you.